Hello guys, in this video I'm gonna show you that how can you upload files using Node.js, Express.js and Mulcher to the server. So first of all, we have to create a new folder. So the name of this folder will be Node.js file uploader. Now we have created a new folder. Now we have to open this folder using the VS code. So I'm going to open it by VS code. Now you can see my folder called node.js file uploader has been successfully opened by VS code. Now the second step is to create a .js file. So I'm going to create a app.js file. And inside this file, we are going to write our whole code to upload the files from the client side to the server. Now you have to open your terminal. Now inside the terminal, you have to write a command called npm in it dash dash y and you have to hit enter. This command will create a package.json file inside your project directory. Now you can see I have a file called package.json inside my project directory. So I'm going to clear my terminal. Now we have to install some dependencies and the name of the dependencies is express and merger. To install express and merger, we have to write a command called npmi dash dash save express and merger. And we have to hit enter and wait for it to download all the dependencies. Now, after the successful installation of the dependencies, we can start writing our code. So I'm going to clear my terminal. And the first step is to import all the dependencies that we are going to use. So first of all, I'm going to import the express by writing this command. The second thing we need is merger. The third thing we need is fs, which means file system. Now, after this, we have to make a express application. To make an express application, we have to write a code called constant app is equal to express so this code will create an express application now we have to make a uploader function which will handle the upload so first of all we have to write constant uploader is equal to molter and now inside the molter we have to give it some options so i'm going to give it a give it, it the option as in um, bracket and inside it I am going to write storage multi dot memory storage so what will this function do this function will use to get the file from the request and it will make a temporary path to the file for us so we can access the file in our request headers. So after this, we have to make our route to handle the upload. So first of all, we have to write app.get or we can write app.post because we are going to upload the file. After that, we have to give it a name of the route. So I'm going to name it upload and after that we have to give it some request handlers so the first handler i'm going to give it is uploader and after that i'm going to write uploader dot single because we are going to upload only a single file at one time and in the single file i'm going to give it a field name the field name is the same name inside whichever file is present in the request so i'm going to give it file and after that we have to write async 
request and response. Now we have to get the file from our request. So what we can do, we can write constant file is equal to request dot file. Inside this request dot file, our file will represent. After that, now we have our file. So what we can do, we can use the fs module to write this file in our server or in our project directory. So what we can do is to write fs dot write file sync and inside it first of all we have to give it the path where our file will be save so we can write underscore underscore dir dir means the directory name the directory name is our main directory means this project directory now we have to do is to add a plus and a backslash then another plus and now we have to give our file a name so i'm going to give it file which is the our original file dot original name so this file has its own original name so we are going to save it save this file inside our project directory using this dir name backslash file dot original name and now we have to give it the option from which our file will be converted to a file which will be saved in the node.js or in our project directory now to give that we have to write file dot file file which is this file and now I have to write file dot buffer so now what this fs module do this fs module write our file from the file buffer means this file from the file buffer to a file inside our project directory so to run this code we have to listen on this we have to start a server so what we can do we can do app dot listen now we have to give it a port so i'm going to give it 800 now a callback function and this callback function going to print a, print a message on the terminal called the server has been started so now this is the whole code we need to upload the file from the request order from the client side to our server so to start this we have to open our terminal again and inside the terminal we have to write node app.js and wait for it to start our file now you can see there is a message called server has been started which means that our code is ready to be used or ready to be tested so what we can do now we have to open our postman now you can test your api with anything or any other software but i'm going to use the postman so what i'm going to do is to open my postman from here so uh, before working on the postman i forgot to tell you one thing whenever you are working with the express or any api you have to send a response to our server to our client so what we can do we can write response because this is the response which are going to send to the client the client made a request and in the exchange of request the client going to get a response so we can give a response by writing this request dot status 200 status 200 means the uh, the api has no problem and everything went okay after that you ha you have to send a json and inside the json you can write status okay and now 
you can start this code again node app dot js and let's wait for it to start code okay the code has been started so now we can test this by going to our postman and selecting the post request from here and writing our So here is the link of my local server which is my IP and the port we are running uh, our app application on. Now after that I have to give it a route called upload and now we have to go to the body and inside the body we have to go to the form data and inside the form data we have to give it a key which I am going to name file because it is the same name which is in our Mulcher uploader dot single dot file. So I am going to give it a field name called file, and now the value of this is a file. I'm 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 going to select any file. So it can be an image, it can be an Excel data. So I'm going to get this file from here, and after that I'm going to send it, and let's see what happens. So. As you can see, we have get a response called status and OK. So let's go, go back to our VS code and let's see what happens. So you can see here, I have get an image and if I open this, so this is the same file I have gotten from my front end or you can see from my postman. So this is a simple tutorial that how can you upload file using Express, Mulcher, and FS module. So, this is a very straightforward and a very short tutorial for you.